I'd like to introduce next Anne Wayman from Britain for Europe. Thank you. Please give her a cheer. Thank you very much. Um, I'm delighted to be here on behalf of Britain for Europe uh, and to see so many people um, who feel as strongly as we do in Britain for Europe that we're going down absolutely the wrong path and we're on the way to jump over the cliff into disaster. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that Mrs May, who cannot think of anything else other than limiting immigration, is happily leading us there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, in Britain for Europe, we believe that until we've actually left the EU, it's worth every moment of our time to campaign to remain. Yes. Yeah. We haven't left until we've actually left, and who knows what else can happen. We've seen the government overthrown in the courts over the question of being able to uh, trigger Article 50 without the consent of Parliament. We know there are going to be cases brought um, about the position on whether we can uh, revoke Article 50 or not. And you have to know that the clause actually says Article 50, 50 announces an intention to leave and then gives a process. It doesn't say what you can do if you don't want to leave, and it doesn't say you can't withdraw it. And, and finally, as we know in the EU, everything is a political decision at the end of the day, and if um, we get to that stage uh, and the other 27 and we agree that we want to stay, then we will stay. Yeah. But we are on a slippery slope, and we have to campaign hard against it. Now, I am one of the people who's over 65 in this country. <laughs> but I didn't vote to leave, I voted to remain. And one of the things that was said to me by other people of my age, and many who were younger, I don't know where they got it from, that Britain was great and will be great again. And they do not remember that in the 70s, we had to go to the IMF cap in hand to borrow money because we were called the poor man of Europe. No equality language at that time. Um, and so, we, in the EU, it has brought us prosperity. It has brought us peace. It has brought us great, great benefits in culture, uh, in our attitudes to human rights. We do not want to lose that. We do not want to go back to being the poor man of Europe. No. So let's fight on, and all of you, do join Britain for Europe, and let us all fight together. Yeah.